in Canada, particularly, uh, when the animals are trapped, uh, people have to understand that uh, I would say ninety-eight percent. That's almost hundred percent of the animals are caught in quick killing system. So this whole image, you know, you know, of the Lego trap with teats and breaking the animal leg and so on, uh, I think that's only good for Walt Disney because that does not exist anymore. And it's been a while, uh, I would say at least uh, 35 years. So uh, the trapping methods have really evolved drastically in, in the last 30 years. We, we went from that point almost, I would say, 40 years ago now to, as I said, quick killing traps for almost uh, uh, all the animals that are traps uh, across Canada. And this is all, this is very important to understand that also this is all supervised or coordinated by regulation. It's not anybody that can trap anywhere and in any manner. You have to be trained to be trapper. Uh, you need this uh, specialized training to how to use trap, how to be selective, for example, how to avoid pets, that, that kind of thing. And then there is a time of year, people don't trap 12 months a year. They trap only a specific time of the year. Uh, for example, the, the, the period where uh, the animals are giving birth to their young, where they raise their young, this is all protected. There's no trapping during that time of year. So again, this has evolved quite, uh, quite a bit in the last 40 years. The other part is that you can just trap anyway. All the traps that you are using have to be certified as meeting the international standard now. And it's specific per species. You have to use a particular type of trap per species. So it, it really has changed. And uh, it's now, I would say, very done in a professional manner. Very, very professional manner. Uh, according to, as I said, to science now which has evolved in the last 30 years, which allowed us to use devices that we know now perform extremely well in terms of animal welfare.